UK we call a detached house because it's not attached to any other house. <laughs> That's so confusing. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. Yeah, why do we, we use really long words? It made me realize also that American houses are very, a scary place that you just don't go. <laughs> from the UK. Hi, I'm Callie from the USA. No, I've never been to the US. I've been to Canada and stayed at like my friend's house. Mm -hmm. I guess this houses wouldn't be too different, surely. I feel like they'd be very similar. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just remember being shocked by the basement. Oh. That was the main thing I always remember. Like American basements are like actually used mm -hmm. and maybe like an extra room and like mm -hmm. the laundry and stuff you maybe do in there, yeah, yeah. I noticed. We don't do that. Really? The basements are like a scary place that you just don't go. <laughs> like in the scary movies, the horror movies. Yeah. Really? We just don't use our basements. Nobody really would like refurbish the basement uh -huh. or use it for anything. It's so much space though. I know. Like a lot of people in the States, I think now turn it into fun. You know, they'll put a pool table down there, a little bar, something fun like that. So it's good. I've never been to the UK before, so I've never been, you know, to a house in the UK. I picture more apartments, maybe in the larger cities mm. I'm thinking of, but I picture like the narrow, tall, mm -hmm. taller. Like townhouses. Yeah. Mm. That's, a that's a London thing. Is it? I think our houses are just a lot older. There's a lot of really old houses. My house is pretty old looking. Like, is it? Yeah, it's got like the old kind of like Tudor style almost, like on the mm -hmm. outside. I love that though. Yeah. Something about that is so quaint and mm. cute. Yeah, that's kind of how I picture it. Yeah. Just like the narrow town houses with the cute mm. details. Like a detached house? Detached house? Yeah. So uh -huh. it's like not, it's like its own, with its own like garden space. It's okay. not like attached to anything else. Okay. Is that the actual term for it? Detached yeah, detached. Oh. We have a lot of types. In the US, we would just call it a house mm -hmm. or an apartment if you're in a bigger city. Usually the houses are just like on their own, right? In yeah. America, from what I've seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it varies state to state, because you know, if you go to New York, it's definitely gonna be more apartments. Mm -hmm. Where I'm from, it's everyone's got their own front yard, backyard, mm -hmm. all their detached houses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the UK, we call a detached house because it's not attached to <laughs> any other house. Uh -huh. Makes sense, makes yeah. sense. In the US, we would just call this a house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a very typical, common thing to have in the States. Yeah, yeah you I don't always they... see it, like in the films, they're never like connected to each other. And yeah. a lot of the time I've seen like, you don't even have gates or mm. like fences, which blows my mind. Yeah. Because we even like detached houses would usually have like fence, okay. even if it's like a small one. Uh huh. Is it common to have detached houses or it depends where you're at? Honestly, it it depends on like the area and like the income of that area. Like mm. we have loads of different types of houses and they can be like next to each other, detached mm. and other types. So it's just, yeah. Are they usually quite pricey compared to apartments? Also depends on the region <laughs> of the yeah. UK, but in general, detached houses, if we're talking about the same region, will be way more expensive than different type, which I guess we're gonna talk about. Yeah. So I won't like tell okay, you what right. they are yet. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> Yeah, so in the UK, we would call this a flat. These are block of flats. Okay, I've heard that before. I, I always like hearing that. It, it sounds fancy <laughs> to me. Welcome to my flat. Flat, flat tall. <laughs> yes. In the US, we would call this an apartment. Mm -hmm. Yep. And do you say like apartment block too? Complex? No, you could say apartment building. Building? Okay. Yeah, apartment building. Mm -hmm. But I think most people would just say apartment. Common definitely in the bigger cities. And we say block of flats. <clears throat> wait, block of flats? Yeah, there's a block of flats. Because, wait, explain that please. Like a block <laughs> of like flats. Like the road block? Like, because we call a block like based on the road. Yeah, we right? don't have, we don't, do blocks in the UK, like okay. as in the streets, we just block of flats. So the the block is referring to the building? Yeah. Oh, okay. Or okay. it can be like a complex, uh -huh. but we wouldn't say complex, we would just say block. That reminds me of like Legos or yeah. something, right? <laughs> In the US, we would call this a condo. Mm -hmm. And it's very similar to an apartment, except mm -hmm. for you 
own it. Okay, so it's mine, yes. even if it's in an apartment complex building. Yeah. I would say condos are kind of more like a community mm -hmm. because yeah, you're around other people, other people have units, but you own your own mm. unit. So it's like a little town of apartments. <laughs> Yeah, older people get condos. I wouldn't say it's very common for the younger mm -hmm. population, you know, people who are just buying first I think, homes and I stuff. Think I can picture it now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. some people even get them for vacation homes too, mm -hmm. I would say. Some people get like condos mm -hmm. by the beach or something like that. So in the UK, we will call this a semi-detached house mm. because it's detached on one side. Semi-detached. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is like super literal terms. I know, I and like... it's so long as well. Why? <laughs> yeah. In the US, we would call this a duplex. Multiple people can live in it and rent it together. They had a funny movie back in the day about it. Have you seen that? Duplex? Mm -mm. Yeah, it's an older movie, but it was just about people sharing a home. Don't know if this is common anymore. I don't really yeah. know. I it guess is like split in housing. the middle, right? With the wall? Or sometimes with the oh, levels you can do. Yeah, oh. some people will live on the first floor and then others will live on the second floor. Mm. Yeah. So we're like literally split in half. It's just two houses stuck together. Oh, There's really? no kind of like splitting that way. It's always like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe people will have split it into flats, but then we just call it flats, even if it's in a semi-detached house. <laughs> that's so it confusing. Gets kind of confusing yeah. yeah, that sounds very complex. Do they all share the same door going in? Like you share the same doorway yeah. and then you go your separate ways. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of confusing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'd like that or not. I've done it before, it wasn't nice. <laughs> you lived in one? Yeah. Yeah? It was okay? No. And the stairs are like this big, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in the UK, we would call these terraced houses or the more kind of fancy ones, like with like maybe three or four floors would be like townhouses, which are more kind of popular in like London and like more kind of like the older style buildings. So I feel like these are kind of more townhouses, but this kind of like London style architecture. I feel like we would call it townhouses as well. Ooh. Yeah, townhouses, I think it just describes kind of the style of it. Some people might even still call it an apartment in the States. Mm if you're renting out rooms there, but the style of it, I guess, like kind of like what you said, the attached yeah. style, you know, one right after another, mm -hmm. and it looks a bit older as well, yeah. smaller. You know, apartment buildings can be so huge sometimes, mm -hmm. but these ones are a bit smaller. Yeah. So yeah, some people might call them townhouses. Yeah, well. I just picture like the Brooklyn yeah. ones, but like they're yeah. apartment. Okay, maybe not all of them are yeah, apartments. See, we would call it an apartment too. Mm. So yeah. Those Brooklyn ones are literally like the dream. Yeah, <gasps> some of them are so nice. Like, I, I always picture like the lofts. You know, know, the big, like, oh, exposed. So nice. Yeah. But yeah, like, terraced houses are more, like, maybe not so fancy looking. So mm -hmm. they're just, like, the red brick mm -hmm. houses in, like, a huge line. Mm -hmm. I've also lived in one of those before at university. You're like the housing expert. Yeah, I've li yeah. And that's what I was saying. I've lived in so many different types of houses. Uh -huh. If ever I move to the UK, I'll be like, Lauren, help me out. <laughs> I, I feel like nobody uses the word condo in the UK. No. The only time I've heard condo condo is from like Singaporean friends but mm. then they have a pool and a gym oh, in the yeah. building and that's why it's a condo rather than we'll an apartment. We'll have that a lot though too. Mm. Oh, a bungalow. Is that common? Yeah, there's loads. Like all the old people live in bungalows. I've heard of the word bungalow, but I mm. picture it being like a jungle I also thing. lived in one of these when I was <laughs> one years old. Oh my gosh, how much have you moved? A lot. <laughs> I really picture this being something in the jungle. Like, oh, we're what? staying in a little bungalow for the really? night or something. Yeah. yeah, these are super common. Like, especially like, so where I grew up was a lot of like older people mm -hmm. and like where people would go to retire. Mm -hmm. So obviously they don't want to be going up and down the stairs all the time. So mm -hmm. like older people would live in like bungalow. a bungalow. That's, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I guess for in the States when you retire, a lot of people just go to like retirement communities mm. or something like that. My grandparents have one in Florida because I'm in Michigan where the weather is mm. cold. So in the winter they'll go down to Florida where they have their own community of retired people. They, they have a pool and they all have their own units. So. That's so 
Yeah, the difference is there's, it's only one floor. There's no stairs, oh. or maybe there would be, oh, there's another word for it and I can't remember. This one's like a 1.5, mm -hmm. kind of like a loft situation, oh, but yeah. inside a house and I can't remember what it's called. A bungalow, but then there's like a little, just a bedroom on the top. Oh, what is it called? And in the UK, we also have like those kind of like older, traditional, maybe you find like in the countryside houses called a cottage, mm -hmm. which may have like maybe stone wall cottage or like a thatched roof cottage. They're not as common as like normal style houses. And a lot of people would go there more for like a holiday or right they then. may have it as a holiday home, but they're super popular to like go and rent for like Airbnb just for the summer. So. Uh -huh. It's yeah. not typical to live Live, live something like I mean, this obviously, way. people do live there, but it's definitely in the countryside. Yeah. yeah. We have the same thing actually. Cottage, like you said, people will go there, like rent it for mm -hmm. a little getaway. And we also say cabin, but oh, so yeah. cottage and cabin would be a little bit similar, but cottage would be more in the countryside. Mm -hmm. Cabin would be out in the in woods. In the woods. Yeah. <laughs> cabin in the woods. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize there were so many differences in terms with housing. Yeah. It's something I never thought about. Yeah, why do we, we use really long words as well. Semi-detached house, very yeah, long. Yeah, so literal. That's mm -hmm. what I think is kind of funny. It makes sense. It did, it made me realize also that American houses are very commonly just like open and mm -hmm. detached. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of detached You got a houses. lot of land. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we got a very small country, so. Mm. So today we talked about different styles of houses in the US and the UK. If you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. We will see you very soon. Bye. Bye.